everyone, Uncle Jesse here. Last weekend, I hit the road for Bel Air, Maryland for the East Coast Rep Rap Fest. This is a 3D printing conference for makers by makers. And I have to say, it was such a good time and an amazing experience finally being able to meet a number of folks like yourselves out there in the community that I've been interacting with over the past handful of years and just have never had the opportunity to see you all. Plus, it was great to finally be back in person at a big event like this, especially one that's dedicated to 3D printing. And I saw a lot of cool things at the conference, including a 3D printer that can print chocolate. Oh, I saw the Prusa XL and it is massively large and looks really cool and so looking forward to getting my hands on that once my pre-order eventually ships. And I was able to meet a number of makers and see the projects that they're working on. One specifically here I wanted to highlight was a very brief interview with a new company called Icon 3D Labs that's making 3D printed accessories for your action figures. 3D printing plus action figures, it was a no-brainer for me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's all this right here? You gotta tell me everything that's going on on this tape because okay. it's amazing. So we are Icon 3D Labs. We entirely do resin printing for uh, mostly 80s and 90s <laughs> collectors. And so we take your figures that are made by other companies and make displays to be able to show them off or make accessories that go with them or parts or pieces that you didn't get with original figures to make them more closely match the original cartoons. So like Goliath here, actually when he comes out of the box, his wingspan is enormous. He's very hard to display because these wings go out to about here. So we made um, two plug-in adapters to be able to fold his wings down and then created this uh, stand with these drawers that hold all of his accessories that slide into the side here. And so now he can be displayed very nicely in a nice small area and it looks great. Um, the turtles, so these are NECA's turtle figures and they don't have uh, any furniture to sit on in their life until we printed it for them. So we made this couch and this table and TV set. All the same thing, resin 3D printed. We dye the resin so that the colors come out nice and deep and um, you know, put them together so that they can be displayed in a nice, um, more fun way instead of just having them stand there looking at <laughs> I love it. I love it. No, this is right up my right up my alley of resin 3D printing and collectible figures. So yes, not bad. And they, oh wait, and these were for arcade one up. Arcade one ups. They, they come with Ooh. those clean black dust covers right yep. around. So um, you can take those off, and then these will fit right on top of that. So they're just how are much you, nicer. So how are you doing? Is this is this dual so, resin? So it's two pieces. Um, okay. It's printed in yellow, and then it is um, painted. There's a little bit of orange painted, and then this was painted black because you can't press and print in black very well yet. Um, so, yeah, so we do a mixture. Sometimes if we need to do black, we'll print it. This um, is absolutely incredible. I mean, what's your, you guys have a website or anything like that? Yeah, definitely. Icon3dlabs.com. And um, we learned a lot of our early techniques from you. So oh, my husband well, thank you. <laughs> videos on how to, you know, like what kind of supplies and stuff we needed to handle our printer. We bought a... Um, a Theo Poly Phenom Prime as our oh, original printer. Yeah, so we just yeah. went big to start with and um, started a, a little uh, mad scientist lab in our basement. <laughs> love it. I love it. Well, thank so, you so much yeah. for showing me all of this and uh, I'll be checking it out for sure. Awesome. Soon. Yeah, Thanks. we love it. We love fans of nostalgic things. It was also a great opportunity for me to finally come face to face with some of the other fellow content creators that I enjoy watching that I know some of you enjoy watching as well. I was also able to participate in a live version of Maker That Money with Repcord and Andrew from 3D Glue. And if you haven't already, you definitely want to check out that podcast where basically they talk every week about making money with 3D printing. I was also using a brand new DJI Pocket 2 4K camera that has a gimbal attachment on it. This is the first time I was using this in any capacity, and it was just a really fun thing that you'll definitely be seeing more of uh, that I'll be using for some other projects in the future. But hands down, my favorite part of the entire conference was meeting the legendary Fotis Mint in person. I had been talking with him for years now via 
you know, direct message there. And it, it was such an amazing chance to be able to actually see him, hang out with him, and just get to chat with him for a while. So I also brought along the resin large dragon of his file that I went off and printed because he was signing some of the models. If you brought some of the things that he's, you know, that you printed of his models, he'd go off and sign them. So I had him sign his dragon. I'm definitely holding on to this one. One other big standout for me was the Cookie Cat team who is making filament for 3D printers, but they also have software that they're developing. Two different softwares. One is like a stripped down, super simplified, uh, think of it like a simplified version of Tinkercad, which is even easier to use than Tinkercad for 3D modeling online, which is, I think my kids might be able to get really into that one. So if you have young kids, you definitely wanna check out that. And then the other is they actually have a piece of software that you can take basically any shape or design and turn it into a 3D printable cookie cutter. That is amazing. But there was so much to see at the conference and I just didn't have enough time to see everything and get to talk to everyone. But hopefully next year I'll be able to attend the event again and just spend more time on the floor getting to see each and every booth and all the amazing projects that are out there. This was such a quick trip, but I had an absolute blast and I highly recommend if you ever have the chance to attend the Earth Conference or MRF, definitely check it out. It is such a fun event where you can meet fellow makers that are interested in these things called 3D printers. Hey, this was a quick one. I just want to say thanks again for watching you all. I'll see you next time. Also, a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your uh, continued support here. If you're interested in my resin 3D printer settings, you can find those over on my Patreon, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye now. Oh, it's a video. <laughs> <laughs>